yeah, we're going to have an album day. Yep, catch up with some albums. I really just ain't had time for albums at the minute. Um, but we're going to knock a load out today. Uh, and starting with Queen. And we've, we're now on to the game. Which I actually thought we'd done this album, but... No, Live Killers was the last album. Which means I've been really slacking with Queen albums. Because I was convinced I did this album. But, uh... Yeah, I guess not. But anyway, this would be part one anyway. The first five tracks. Play the game, Dragon Attack, which is... Oh, I fucking love that tune. That was one of the first tunes. That and Stone Cold Crazy was the two tunes that really... got me with the band. And still to this day, they have the same effect on me when I put them on. Another one by the Dust is... It, <laughs> Is that is what it is? Classic. Need your loving tonight. Don't know that one. And crazy little thing called love. So there's only two tracks on this which I haven't actually heard before. Um. On the other side, I don't know any of them. But anyway, yeah, let's start. The uh, queen, the game, play the game. First track. Let's go. Hold on. Inside. That was a big. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to go to rock. I was not expecting piano from that. Let's go back. Let's start again. Let's go. in the snare it's funny because this sounds like a well produced song but then the bass in the snare sounds really kind of like almost live like how they've set up the recording and got the drums to sound um, yeah which kind of gives it a different because the rest of it sounds so clean when it's Freddie's voice and the piano and um then Brian comes in with his big rock note. But yeah, anyway, let's go. I was going to say this is a very beatly type of song. Um, probably the only thing separating it is the drumming. And obviously, well, not even Freddie's voice because the Beatles love their high singing as well. But this is a very beatly track. But then when it just 
broke into dig, 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 dig. That's like very, yeah, this is a very beatly track. Let's go back. Very 60. Love runs from my head down to my toes. My love is pumping through my veins. Play the game. Me come, 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 come. Play the game, play the game, play the game, play the game. <laughs> yeah. That key change as well. Yeah, that's but that's very like I find that because I know Freddie Mercury is a is a huge Lennon fan. But I'd say this is more the McCartney sound, especially with the piano. Um one, I love that about this track. I love piano. Like I just love piano. And yeah. Freddie's voice and a piano is great. And yeah, well, started the album off of that. Um But yeah, this has a more this felt like a more McCartney type of influence than the Lennon, because I'm also can you can tell Roger Taylor's a massive Lennon fan. Um you could just tell that from his his whole but a lot of his tracks don't sound like Lennon, but they're like it, they're in that wheelhouse. Um, yeah, but this track was like a different type of, and it also was surprising as well. Yeah, because well, to be fair, the last album was the Live Killers, which is actually great. Um, But then saying that they've they've yeah they've had these types of tracks. But it's kinda of nice to start the album off like that. And now we're gonna drop into Dragon Attack, which I said at the start is <laughs> I love this track. But let's go. Straight away that's just fire. In these two tracks off this album, really, you in the band too, because it was great to hear Brian in the last track as well. That's something I didn't say. I've, I have missed Brian, his guitar playing. Um, but then, if you take the the part of Freddie's personality that's coming across on the track, from track one to Dragon Attack. Um, It's like a completely different person. 
Because this, to me, just is so attitude. Dan, Dan, gonna take no prisoners. Dan, Dan. It's just... The, the Freddy you get in this track is just so attitude. Like, he's got that rock and roll attitude down. But then you have in the last track where he's singing a beautiful song about love, basically. Um... Anyway, yeah, that's right. That bass line as well. Where the greens are green, and from what I've seen, it's hot as a meal. I gotta use my stand. It's gotta be mad. Everyone's fire on this track. This is like, this is like their younger sound matured. Where the band itself just kind of matured into um, different styles of music. This is like taking their old, original, dirty rock sound and kind of um attaching it attaching their maturity to it because there's still the dirty the dirty rock bits the drum solos the drum solo into the uh, was it the bass no the drum into the bass into the guitar um Brian has literally been it doesn't even sound like this is how dirty Brian Main's lead is and how dirty kind of blues rock it is. It doesn't have that that um jump out at you Brian May signature kind of thing about it. It is a true his guitar playing is like real rock. Real rock lead, rock and roll lead. Like it's 
Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 